Hi everyone, Emma here. So I am working on knotting pearls and I kind of need your help with this because I feel like a lot of the videos are great at explaining how to knot the pearls, but not a lot of them explain how to get a nice clean attachment onto your, um, your clasp. So I've been kind of doing some research of my own to see if I can come up with something. I did come up with a, a basic idea. Let me just adjust this light a little bit better. Um, so here's the thing. There's so many different clasps. I did see a video that showed you how to do um, some French wire so that it protects your... Um, just a sec here. So I have some, this is gold and silver plated French wire. So it protects your thread. So that was definitely a positive. And, and just to let you know, I have bought some of this gold work from, um, from India for $12 for a huge, huge uh, bundle of it, rather than buying them like this. Now these are silver and gold plated, the others aren't, but I feel like they would still have the same effect. So anyway, so that was good. You cut a little piece, you put, you thread your, your, um, your silk cord through that piece, the same way you would create um, you know, uh, putting a crimp at the bottom of it, only you're going to be doing a knot instead. But what they did was, let me just put this aside here. What they did in the video was they came back down the pearls. So the one video I saw, you threaded both your strands. I'm using a, a two strand method you threaded both your strands through your pearls. And for me, I put my knots in. The, the last couple, they didn't put knots in. So then you go through the French wire and through your clasp and you come back down. You go through this bead. Then as you start going down each bead, you put your knot in. Then you go down the next one, you put your knot in. And so then you evenly have knots all the way and you can clip your cord with a little bit of glue and you're done. I still feel that that's not the neatest way to do it. I don't know how to say it, but I just feel like there's got to be a more professional way to do it is I guess what I'm getting at. And I'm... Um, yeah, I'm stuck. So if you have any ideas, if you've seen some videos on how to attach your pearls to a clasp, let me know. Now, I have to say, I did go ahead and pick probably one of the more confusing clasps because I don't see these a lot. So this is a clasp, believe it or not. You can attach things on this side. Let me enlarge this. So you can attach things through, you know, there's a little bar dividing it. So you can put your thread through and stuff. Um, but again, that to me would look kind of messy. So I don't know how I would do it. And this clasp is one of these, like they open up. And this is your embellishment. So it's like that. And it's your attachment. Now, you, you do have some, of the, and I do have one here, some of these that have a clasp on both ends, like this. So then you can attach your pearl in this end here. And doing that, you just thread your thread up through one side and down through the other. But again, I don't understand where you're going to put your knot and your thread without Ha, you know, you've got this beautiful thing and then all of a sudden you have <laughs> knots and thread hanging everywhere. So I'm like, oh. so let me just, let's just go step forward here and we'll see if we can problem solve this out. And then uh, 
hopefully you'll have some wonderful ideas. I know that there's, I have some class that attach thread. Let me see if I can find it here. They're um, the little clamshell class. Well, darn. I have some. Maybe I move them to a different bin here. Yeah, I must have moved it to a different bin. Wait, we have a bunch here. This is annoying. Okay. Let's see if it's in here. No, I can't find it. Darn it. So they're little clamshells and they um they have a hole so you can put your thread through the hole and um you tie a knot, you close, pinch it closed, and it has a, like a little round hook to hook onto things, but that still wouldn't work in this situation. So that's kind of where I'm stuck here. But, so let's, let me show you what I've done so far and then just get this back over here. So this one here, this is the Preciosa Pearls. Let me adjust the camera. So these are the Preciosa Pearls and I'm using um, number four silk, which is, let me see what I have here. Okay, so this is the pink. And does it give the size on this part? So the number four is equal to the uh, 0 0.60 millimeter. Again, um, the impression that I got from the different videos was maybe the four is a good size for knotting pearls. And you can see, I feel like my knots are not the best. Like, I don't know if you can see, this one's kind of weird off to the side. Stuff like that would drive me nuts. So I may end up re- stringing this to fix that. I think what happens is this is twisted and it, as you're going through the small holes, it spins them and then this becomes all kinked. So if you don't pull that out properly, when you make your knot, you get extra thread there. So yeah, that one looks big too, but you know what? We'll, so let me pull this one off and see if I can get it through here. And then we will start on another one and I'll show you how I started this. So um, this, I added a uh, big eye needle, collapsible needle, because I needed to get the second strand through I think what it was is I didn't put enough pearls on. So the idea was to string your pearls initially with the needle that it comes with. So these, these cards have two meters of uh, silk cord and it comes with these, uh, they're just like a collapsible eye needle. So you can barely see the eye on this because it's all squished down, but it's squished. If you look, this is one strand of cord, but because it's like a double twisted, they put the needles on before they twist it. So you can see like that, which is great because then you're only passing one strand of thread through your pearls. But if you're using the double strand method that I'm using to make your knots as tight to the pearls as possible, 
you need to be able to get your second strand through. And what I did initially was I figured out how many beads I needed and then pulled it through, but I needed to add. So that's how come I didn't. And this one doesn't want to come off. Let me see if I use my, it's not going to work. I don't know if this is going to work. No, this is not going to work. Let's see if I can pull it that way. Let's pull this through. So I apologize. This is not going to be like a typical um, tutorial video. Okay, this is not going to work. I'm going to have to deal with this. I know what to do. Why am I bothering? Let's take this off. Let's take it off and then pull it out. So get this guy out. There. Okay. And then we can take the other one off. It should pass through that other needle easily because these needles are quite thin and yeah easy easy okay so let's take that one off and I hope it's not too confusing for you but the idea is that I need to thread my clasp on and then come back through so actually I may need that pearl on there now that I think of it let's just put that aside for a sec. I need to think about this. Because if I put this through here now and then add the pearl, these strands are going to be standing on the side of the pearl. So I do need to. So what this is going to do is we're only going to be able to get one strand. Uh, I don't even think this is going to work. Here. I think what I need to do is untie this knot. I think that's the key to this. So untie this knot. And then we'll bring both strands through and around and tie a knot. And I'm hoping that's going to take care of business. So I hope everybody's doing well. Things are, things are quiet in our house, but the neighborhood's pretty busy. I think people getting ready for the kids to go back to school and getting in their last bit of, um, vacation time okay so now let's string the pearl so that right now I have a seven and a half inch bracelet with the clasp so let's put this through let's move this out of the way here So I should show you, this is my um, really inexpensive pearls and I strung them so I could do a bracelet and to give you an idea the difference in the two pearls and how they look. So I feel like using the silk cord worked amazing to kind of uplift these dollar, dollar fifty pearls. Um, the one glaring thing that I noticed when I was doing it, and I'm pretty new to pearls, even though I go nuts over them, is if you see, there is a flat edge on all of these pearls. And these ones are perfectly round. So that's the only, and then these have really big holes. So it's a positive if you want to try and do stuff with you know the bigger cord 
but you end up with stuff like this. So you see these two beads are sitting together. There's actually a knot in there, but the hole is so big that it's going on top of the knot. Let's see. And then look what just happened. When I pulled that out, the little circle of finish that was on the bead just came off and it's kind of sitting there. You can kind of pick it and, and break it up so that it comes off the pearl. But right now it's, it's kind of uh, just floating on the cord. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see that piece there. That was around that pearl. And now it's just there, a mess. So, and I was careful to pick pearls that didn't have, that weren't damaged like that. So that that's a huge part to this. But we're going to fancy this up and see how we can uh, get it going. <laughs> Definitely these. Preciosa the pearls are so amazing. Okay, so let's get back to it. There's a pearl. Let's get that pearl down there. And we're going to bring the other cord through. You know, I don't even think we need to. Because we're going to tie the knot right here. So we can keep this one. Because when we bring up this one anyway, we can't really go around. I guess we could crisscross onto this to get two strands. I, you know what? I think we should leave it this way and see how we manage. And I'm just checking this pearl. I had one pearl that actually had a scratch. Let me see if I can find it to show you. This is the only one that I found. It had a scratch and it actually had a chip out of it. Which I was, ah, this is the one here. But you know what? When I took this one off the strand, it was the first on the strand next to the knot. So I wonder if it got, if you can kind of see the, let me see if I can make that a little, there you go. And then on the one side, there's a, actual chip in the pearl yeah I can't find it it might have been in another one but the otherwise these pearls look pretty amazing okay so let's get cracking here so I can show you how to knot the others. So we're going to take, you can take this piece off if it's in the way. And actually I think we might because it just makes it easier to get through this clasp. Because there is a hole right there. So you go down one side, come out, then come back in. Because you really can't get I mean, you could bend your needle, but I tried it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So bring it up through the one side. And then get your needle in there on the other side. You know, you could put um, the French wire in here too. But you know what? I want my beads to, to be stuck like this one right up against it so yeah i was surprised at how hard it was to find videos on how to attach your clasp to pearls so uh, something i'll be working on um you know i do so many bracelets that sometimes i'll get to the end and i don't want to put a regular clasp on so I'm like, oh, what should we do to improve this? And I've gotten a lot of really great um, advice and uh, video recommendations and stuff for making your own clasp. So you see, I'm going back down that same pearl. Bring that through. 
And uh, so I'm going to like start to work on doing a series on clasp because I know you guys make the most amazing bracelets out there and I've done them too. And it's like, I feel like sometimes there's not enough thought in doing the clasp part of it. And I feel like um, you shouldn't have to pay a whole bunch. So you should be able to, one, do them. I'm going to bring this one up a little close to the other pearl. Hang on to that and see if I can pull this in. So that it's nice and tight like that. Okay. So let's tie this in a knot. It's, it's a lovely thought. Let's see if it works. Okay. There's one knot. So now what I'm going to do, because it didn't actually go around that middle strand, so you can see the the first strand is still in there. Let me adjust this again. So I'm going to go around the other side. I'm going to tighten this. Make sure it's nice and tight. So go around the other side. Get this in here. and pull these tight i'm going to take a look at it first if i think it's too much of a knot then we will skip that second knot but i think if you're at the end of your um, bracelet that maybe double knotting is a good idea so there's that second knot okay so now let's see if we can get this through one of these pearls. Let's try this one. So I did find that trying to go through the pearl wall, there's stuff there. If you kind of pull the, the, the cord down a bit, you can, it exposes the hole. So you should be able to get in there nicely. And I find if you just like continue to pull those two down a bit and maybe twist and turn your bead till your needle comes out the other side. Because these needles are bendable, so they're trying to push them through a hard area there it is must have got caught on the cord Let's see if I can get that in there and that's why I had these tweezers out too so grab that and pull it through oh, I don't know if that'll go through why is it getting hooked up here It should go through. There we go. I think the the uh, needle is getting a little bit bent. This should do it for this one. So you see how the the thread the cord is curling. Try and straighten that out a bit. Let's see if I can keep it untangled here. There. 
here. You see that? <laughs> That's not friendship. There. That is lovely. Okay. So at this point, I would probably, since there's a knot there, and then your cord is right there, you could put a little dab of glue in there. Um, you know, you have to be careful not to get it on your, uh, on your pearl. Let's, um, let's figure out what we're going to do with this one. So I feel like we could maybe get this one through this pearl and then maybe cut it there. Let's try that. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my needle first. And if my needle doesn't go in, then there's no point threading this. I can see a little bit of hole opened up. Yeah, it seems to be sliding in, so let's... I, I, you know what? I don't think it's going to go through. I'm not very confident these days. So I should let you know, Monday was my last um, radiation appointment. And I found the radiation went pretty good. The, the biggest thing that happened with me with the radiation is twice my appointments got cancelled. But uh, they quickly got me back in, so not too bad a deal. But um, so I guess they're saying that at week three, which would be the end of next week, I should start to get some side effects. And I have a visitor here, if you haven't heard the door opening. It's just your uh, chauffeur. My chauffeur. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't think this is going to go in. So let me just try one more time. Okay, that one went in, but I think I'm oh, okay. Wait, it's going in. Let me see if we can get this through. Is there a teenage boy? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> that was my wife. And AKA the peanut gallery. She never watches my video, so she has no clue what I do in here with you guys. Uh, I just hear you mumbling to yourself <laughs> in, in, in a room behind a closed door a lot. <laughs> and on the other, if you're expecting me to change, <laughs> good luck with that. So I don't think this, see so now we have two strands coming through. So I don't think this is going to go through. And I feel like the amount of, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to push that through. I feel like the amount of strain we're going to put on this silk cord and like fraying is, is not going to be worth the added strand going through. So what we are going to have to do with this is we are going to have to add glue here and then clip this piece. So let's do our glue. And we'll move on to a different, a different situation here. So I'm using my E6000 and I had a tissue and I threw it out thinking I don't need that. So this stuff comes out really quick. So be careful not to get it on stuff. So let me just see how fast that's coming through. I kind of didn't want that much on there. Um, and it's just, let me see if I can get a toothpick and get some of that off. And it darkened the cord. 
So I'm not happy about that at all. I feel like when I use more expensive components and um, put so much work into something that I want it to be perfect and to have one side like that dark. That's huge difference. Okay, so let's go to the this piece here. I think we can cut this and add a drop of glue there. I can get my really good embroidery scissors here. So be careful you don't cut anything else or scuff up your pearl. There. So you can still use this and it's still got the needle on it, which is great. Okay, we're going to cut that one after. So we just need to put a drop in there. Let's see what we got going here. You know, I almost don't want to do it that way because it's going to turn that one red. I'm just going to take the toothpick. I don't feel like this is going to go anywhere anyway, so. But that's interesting how it discolors it. Okay, so let me get this. There. I love working with E or with the the GS Hypo, but it really has a strong odor and I find um, it gets on my hands and it bugs me. <laughs> I'm a princess, you know. Okay, put that aside. And here is the bracelet. So just like that. So this is one, like I said, is a double-sided. Let's just close that one there. And that is, that's a lovely bracelet. So now that I look at it, I actually don't see the, the dark. And it seems to be lightening up a bit as it's drying. So that's good. There, let's see what it looks like on. Let's see if I can put it on as well. So this is, I made this for somebody else. I don't know who that somebody is yet. I'm sure there's people out there watching the video going, oh, make it me. So who knows? It might be a giveaway. I am actually thinking of doing another giveaway soon. Um, somebody had mentioned that they had a hard time. Oh, this looks lovely. So it's just, I'm going to shorten that and see. So there. So this is a way that your class can be the centerpiece. And it can go that way or it can go this way. Like that. But, I mean, that's what it looks like done. Um, yeah, somebody mentioned that they were having a hard time posting comments. So let me know if you've had trouble with that. And I feel like things have been really, really quiet since my last giveaway video. That one I got, I think, 80 comments. But since then, I've gotten maybe 5 to 10 comments in each video. So I was just curious to see if people are busy, which I totally get, or if it's they're having trouble commenting. So if there's problems with the commenting, then we'll do a we'll do another giveaway. I'm sure I'm gonna do one anyway. <laughs> Who am I fooling? I enjoy doing them so much. So let's take a look. Let me show you what I did to get this started to get your two strands in there. And it 
you may be thinking, I don't understand why it would be difficult. Let me remove these aside here. Move all of this stuff so it's not in the way. Okay, so we're going to use this one. So this one, I think I'm going to do a um, necklace with it. So we're going to use these dusty rose six millimeter pearls. So I want these to be elegant, but with a, with a feel of um, like a retro feel to them or an antique feel. Let me move these guys out of the way. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I ended up with, do you know what it is? This bracelet was actually just the heart. So we should have attached the heart to the pearl. So I ended up with this leftover, but I have more of these so I can add one to this. So that actually kind of solved this problem of stringing, right? Cause I had the two ways to string it. Let's put that there. Okay, so this, so these silk th cords or thread, um, I feel are a little bit expensive for what they are. Um, they're usually in the two to three dollar range. Now I got these, I think, for eighty cents or sixty cents a piece at Bita Halik when they did their closeout sale. And I'm kicking myself. I got colors that I knew I would use, but I should have ordered multiples of them. So I think I ordered like two of this color, two of the pink, the darker pink, and then a bunch of white and some browns and stuff. Anyway, so this is how the cards come. I'm just going to open that up. And I just hang on to, it gives you the information on it. The color and whatnot and I kind of hang on to it in case I want to reorder it and then it's also repeated on here but it doesn't give the color so so you see there's a way to get, okay there's the thread is hooked into there so just pull it off and untwist it from the card And again, this is the four, number four size. And when I was looking at the videos, it seems like that's what people are using the most. Well, here's the thing. It would depend on your size of your bead. So if you were using eight millimeter, I might go up to the six. And at the end is the, the metal needle. And it's awesome. So I used to use these metal needles but they were a lot bigger. So these are great how t teeny tiny they are. But the problem with them is they're very bendy and you end up, um, it's hard sometimes to put it through the pearl. Okay, so let's take a strand. So we're probably gonna need two strands of these. I think there's 50 on a strand. So let's get these out of here. I don't know which strand this is. Here. There it is. Nope, that's not. Here. Oh, I lost a pearl. That's not good. Hey, babies, don't go. So what I was going to say about the radiation before my wife interrupted me is, um, so they say in the three week time frame is when I start to get the effect. So actually what they, nobody explained this to me until I saw 
not my doctor, but another doctor when I was there for my Monday treatment. And he explained that basically what's happening is it's a inflammation response. So it takes about three weeks for the body to say, oh, okay, this is not good. Let's start fighting this. And you get all the, you know, typical symptoms of uh, inflammation, you know, redness, heat, all that stuff. And then it takes another couple of months for that to heal and go away. So, okay, so what the idea is, is we want a double strand of this. So we want to put all our pearls on the needle and on the thread and bring it down, um, I think to the end, but leaving a bit. And then we're going to go back through the clasp, through this loop here. And then we're going to start going through each pearl that's already on the strand. So now you're doing double. So I hope that makes sense. So let's get these. We may have to take another strand if we're doing a necklace. So these go on really easy at this level you're only putting one strand so the thing with these preciosa pearls is the holes are super tiny which are great for this application but you have to think about that when you're deciding on your project because I did some four millimeter preciosa designs and I can show you that <coughs> And this one actually, this design goes through the pearls multiple times. So it was, you know, starting to get really tight inside that bead because you have to go through these multiple times. But I'm, this is going to be the next video. This will be a start to finish tutorial. Um, I, I purposely left this one unfinished on this side to show you this part, but we will start here and I'll show you how to do these, how to add this embellishment with the crystal in the middle and then we'll move to this one and do these strands and attach everything but these this turned out unbelievable so I'm looking forward to showing you that but that one's going to take a while so um even though I'm I'm doing well I'm super tired so I find it hard to do a video when I'm tired. I forget what I'm saying and <laughs> I make mistakes. And I know you guys are just really amazing supporting me. Oh no, don't worry about it. So I just keep going like this. But uh, I'm going to move this glue. Um, just The smell is disgusting. I ordered some glue. And I can't remember what it was called. So I'm used to E6000. This was like B7000. And I knew that it was a bogus name for <laughs> glue. But I thought, I know that E6000, that company, has a bunch of different glues and they, they call them different things like that, with the alphabet and the number. So I ordered it. This was on Amazon. I ordered it and I got it home. One of the reviews said that it doesn't glue, but the others said it worked great. So I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I got it home. I tested it. And it wouldn't glue, but I thought, well, I'll leave it overnight, see if it cures and holds. It did not glue at all. I couldn't believe it. So I was able to do a return easily, and I've already got my money back. But that's what happens when you try to go on the cheap. <laughs> Actually, the reason I ordered it was instead of a big tube, it was a bunch of smaller tubes 
and it had a syringe on the end like the the um, GS Hypo so I thought oh that'll work a lot better but I know that um, E6000 sells the tiny ones as well so I'll have to check that out so the other strand because I was doing a bracelet and I only have a few of these silk cords I was careful on, careful on how I strung it so that I could um, you know save the end of the cord and uh, it did work out but now that I'm doing a necklace I'm not going to worry to use the whole thing so. yeah because it it just made a difference on how far I put the beads through so There we go, almost done. So I have a few things from uh, AliExpress. And one thing I'm super excited to show you, but um, it, uh, I want to do a tutorial with it to show you. An interesting way to use this item so we'll get to that in another video okay okay so these are all I'm gonna test this on my neck to see yeah so I definitely need a second strand of this and we've got lots of cord so here's the other thing with this is you can do this and do the single strand works great it's strong it's it's fine you you definitely like you have to when you do your knot you have to grab your cord with a next to your bead and bring the knot down as close as you can um, and there's tons of videos on how to do that this way you do it it's a lot um, it's easier because you're tying the two strands into a knot so it brings the knot right up against the pearl and the other part to that is I wanted this part to come back around so that it'll go around this clasp so that's the other part of that. Let's see. So I know this is taking a bit of time. If you're totally not into watching me string stuff, definitely fast forward or, you know, just... I won't be offended for sure if you don't watch the video. So don't... Don't feel any pressure. And this way I won't feel bad because I'm rambling. <laughs> it's a win-win situation. We'll see if we can get my wife in here again. Oh my gosh. I have to tell you guys. So we just changed our internet provider. I cannot believe how complex it is these days. And she worked in IT so she has a better understanding than me and I said to her yesterday I said you know if this was just me doing this I would say to the person installing it make sure you get it working and let me test it before you leave the house because I'm not calling people to come back to fix things and it was so complicated I couldn't believe it so apparently now they have um, apps that you put on your phone to 
activate the system to um, like we have Wi-Fi on all the computers in the house we have two computers and the TV is considered a computer because it has a unit that you know accesses the Wi-Fi as well so apparently you can get this app on your phone to adjust the Wi-Fi as needed and test it to see how fast it's doing it and stuff like that and uh, so the guy was trying to get us to put it on our phones. You're going to laugh at this one. I spend a lot of money on beads. I do not spend money on my cell phone. So we have a prepaid cell phone that we bought eight years ago. And every year before the expiration date, we add a hundred dollar card to it. It's a prepaid card. So, like, our phone, the only thing we can do with our phone is text and receive local calls. And we can, we can call out locally, but it has no data on it. We can turn on the Wi-Fi and access the Wi-Fi in the house, but it's not accessing it through the phone line. So, of course, he's trying to get us to put this app on it, and it wouldn't work at all. He's like, I don't understand how it's not working. I'm thinking, that's because everybody's house that you go to, they actually have phones that have Wi-Fi on it and, and data packages. So she's been like, Ugh, I, it gives me a headache, that stuff. I'm like, can I go pee now? Are we done messing with the freaking TV? And then, of course... I'm so bored because I'm taking it easy from working out and like I said it's hard to do videos when I'm tired and stuff so I just kind of want to sit in front of the TV with my bead tray and watch just random boring TV right <laughs> well because we have a new carrier I don't even know how to use the remote it's totally different the different application for the cable television so oh it's frustrating and she is kind of jazzed about it so she was like yeah so I think we should buy new phones I'm like no no guess what we're doing so she just ordered hers we went on Amazon and they had one for like a hundred and seventy nine dollars and then a twenty four or twenty dollar coupon which is not too bad for this upgraded phone. And we'll be able to switch our SIM cards from one phone to the other and, you know, attach it to that carrier that we're using. But, um, so she's like, well, why don't we order two? I'm like, no, why don't we order one, test it, and then decide if we want to return it or order the second one. I go to... Like, look at the second one. She, so she ordered hers. I go to look at order, like putting mine in my Amazon cart to see. And the price is like $30 more. The price comes up $179, but when I add it to my cart, it says $199. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So, yeah, frustrated. But then she's like, she's, all, she's been like coming into my office constantly. Thank goodness I put the, thank goodness for you guys in the video because I put a little stretch bracelet on the handle on the outside of the door of my office so she knows not to come in. I'm doing a video. <laughs> she's like, she's coming in anyway to talk to me. Guess what I got? I found a new thing for this phone. <laughs> so this looks, it looks slightly low for mine neck. But, oh, the beads are going to come off here. Slightly low for my neck. Um, but, I think we're going to go for it anyway. If we get to the end, we could always take a few off. So, this, so now we have to, so this is what I was saying. We have to draw these 
to the end of this line. I would leave a little bit so that we can tie it off but in the meantime. And what you're going to have to do is when you bring it to the end is bring your thread back down across the beads that you have and test to make sure you have enough thread to go through and create knots. So let me explain that as I'm showing it to you here. Okay, so I'll show you the whole thing. Um, let's just do fold it over because I can't show you the whole strand. So I'm going to go like this. Okay. So this end here is going to attach this piece here like this in through here. Okay. So then we're going to bring our thread down and each one of these is going to have a knot. So it will chew up a lot of this cord, but I'm just testing to make sure that this is actually going to work. You don't want to get almost to the end and you don't have enough cord. So there's going to be plenty. So yeah, and there's lots, there's lots left over. So let's go ahead and string and we can do the same with this is take this off. We'll just make it a lot easier. Get my needle. Actually, let's open this. Let's see if I can get this lit up a bit better. Okay. Open that. Bring your needle through the one side. Like that. And all the way through. Okay. And then go down and come through this side. Like that. Right through. So this is going to mean. So what this is going to do too is this is going to be the front. Your clasp is going to be the front of your pearls. So that's nice too. So now in what this does for this part is your needle is on the side of the thread that's going to go through. So that's why it's important to do it this way. Otherwise you're going to have to, um, you know, this you won't have this needle. You'll have to use a thicker needle. So we could put a knot here, but you know what? I feel like we don't actually need a knot because we want this to sit flush on that burl. And let me see if I can open this a bit better for you. Okay, so we want it to sit like that. So there, we really don't need the knot. Now let's go through this pearl. And bring your cord all the way through. And pull it as tight. So this clasp doesn't fit as, uh, like, um, the other one was rounded. Here. So this was rounded. So it kind of, and that little bar was lower in the, the attachment. So that worked a little better to be smooth. This is kind of sitting, sitting on top. So I don't know. I mean, you could maybe put a gold bead there that has like a larger opening that would kind of sit nicely with that. Let me just check something I have here. We have, we have these. I don't know that, where's the other piece here? I mean, that might go well. I feel like maybe a solid bead would be better. Let me see if I have any close by. 
Because I'm looking at this now and I'm not really sure I like the way that's sitting. And there's a small one. I don't know. No, that's not going to work. No, it, you're going to need a very specific bead for that. It's, it's, and, you know, maybe I have to pay more attention when I'm buying these clasps because that being flat doesn't seem right. Okay, so let's just continue. It still, it still looks amazing. Oh. Okay, so here's the other thing we have to do with these pearls, which I forgot. So we only have a bit of strand here. So we need to pull these down because we are going to use these to knot. Let me see if I can get this down a bit. Okay, so now we're going to put a knot in here. that around bring that through and I think Allie Buckman from uh, Potomac Beads does one like this there so there's a knot now we'll grab our next pearl on the strand so we've got our strand right here just pull one forward grab the needle it through pull that all the way through Let's make sure it's not hooked on the clasp I'm going to close that there there's the second These are, I'm just checking what size these are. They are sixes. It's interesting, I didn't order any eight, but I feel like maybe this needs an eight for this design. Okay, so then we do another knot. And so this makes your knots nice and tight and super snug, oh sorry, super snug against the um, pearls. So that's going to be beautiful. Okay, so let's get our needle here. And get our next pearl. And bring it through. There. And pull that down. Make sure these are both snug. So you can see it kind of curled the, the cord, but you just pull it and pull on the other one to make sure they're both where you want them. Like that. So the, I knew about knotting pearls, but I didn't realize why you knot pearls. So one, if your pearls, strand of pearls breaks for any reason, you would only lose one pearl if you lost them, if you couldn't find them when they broke. And the other part to that is if, um, so I'm going to pull another one down after you do your knot and put it through. And you can see how beautiful these preciosas are. The finish is right up against the edge of the hole. Pull the next one through. So the other reason for knotting your pearls is so that the pearls don't touch each other and end up scratching each other so it will 
preserve your pearls for a lot longer. So there you go. So that is the technique that I'm using when I get to the end. So I'm just going to review what I did on this bracelet. I kind of did it backwards. On this, when you get near the end, so here's the end, you're going to, you're going to leave. You can leave as many as you want. You really don't need to leave a lot, say three. So then we're going to take the strand and we're going to wrap it around the other clasp, this piece here, and tie a knot and then take the strand, put it through the next bead, tie a knot, put it through the next bead, tie a knot, put it through and then cut it and you're set to go. You don't have to add glue if you don't want to, but that would finish it off. So that was the technique that I came across. Um, but if you have any other tricks, definitely let me know. And um, I will even suggest that maybe there'll be, you know, if there's, there's enough people that do it, I'll do a giveaway just for helping me out. If, um, if there's just one or two people, I'll just send them something. So yeah, definitely let me know. You guys have been watching these videos probably for longer than I have. So I don't know what's out there. And I've, I've done, you know, multiple different searches. I've, I've gone to Pinterest and tried to like cross pollinate that to, into YouTube videos and stuff. And I'm still not finding a way to properly put a clasp on when you're doing, when you're using cord like this without it being, you know, messy. So there you go. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, hopefully my next video will be a little more, uh, step-by-step -step process, <laughs> but, uh, that's it for me today. So take care. Bye.